Hey man, so today I'm gonna be showing you how to change your spark plugs on a 2014 or uh, 2013 to 2017, I think. That that year. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna show you how to do it. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here, we're gonna take off the bolts. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna get these off. And I'll just stay tuned. So I got my wife doing it. She wanna work on her own car. So now these are your spark plugs up onto these. These are your coil packs. So you gotta take all four of these out. So you can go ahead and remove those 10 millimeters. Give it a little twist. Give it a little twist. What? Why you pull it? Uh oh. Kind of twist. Yeah, there you go. All right, man. So the next thing we're gonna do is we got all the bolts out. We got this. You pull this tab, and this will come loose. So all you do then is start unplugging your coils first. Unplug them. Hit your little tab. That should come up like that. Unplug them. There you go. Kind of pull it. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right, so when you take these out, you want to take them out and you want to put them back in in the exact same order they came out. All right, so, so we're going to take this one. We're going to sit this there. Take the other one, sit it next to that one. They got to go back in in the same order. We had the 14 millimeter. We got the long uh, extension. Stick it down in the hole. Need your long extension, right? Stick it down in there, make sure you own it. They are kind of tight, so just kind of give it a little push. I'm gonna need both of my hands to do this, y'all. So, but y'all got the gist of it. I'm gonna check back in. I'm gonna show y'all one important tip before you put them in. Yeah. Like All right, man. So you always wanna check the length of your spark plugs. Make sure you got the same spark plug. So you always check them make sure they're the same length if you can see this one you see how brown that is on the tip and you see how nice and clean this one is on the tip y'all can see that all right these are the old ones these are the new ones y'all see the difference but one thing you want to do is it's called a gap spark plug gap this is a tool you can get from the store what you always want to do is check your old ones and see what they were gapped at so Come in, you'll have 20, 30, 40. So these were, these were gapped at 50. Let's double check that. All right, around 45, 50. That one was a little bit. Let's check another one just to see. All right, so 50 seems like, and they are hot. You do want to wait till your engine cools down. Okay, so 50 seems like the general number. So you want to check every single one of these and gap them to 50. Four of my spark plugs are gapped. Now I got a magnetic one. So I'm going to show you all the, the benefits in having a magnetic one. I can turn it like that and stick it back down in the hole. Always, always, always start these with your hands. Never start it with a power tool or even a hand ratchet. Always, always, always like this. All right, man, so there is a spec. Um, I looked online, I saw a spec in between 10 to like 16 foot pounds of, you know, when you got a torque wrench. But I don't, I just feel them when they feel like they tight or tight enough, because you don't want to over tighten these. If you over tighten them, if you break it off in the head, you've had a bad day also. So I just take them, tighten it, and I use a small ratchet like this, so I can't. And I would just barely just, snug snug and leave it come out same thing on the next one get it tight and just give it a slight snug and that's it another slight snug and that people is how you do your own spark plug man this will cost you hundreds of dollars in somebody's shop but pools tv is giving it to you for free now everything goes in reverse put these back in in the same order they came out got any oil on there if you got oil on this you need a valve cover gasket okay so i've recently put one on this so there is a little bit of oil on these but it's fine right 
Line them back up. The hole with the hole. Put one back in. Damn. Two back in. The hole with the hole. To put two back in. Bam. See, this got a little old. It's old oil. It's not nothing recent because it's dried up. This is from when it needs a valve cover gasket. Put it back in. Bam. Put that back in. Bam. All your screws, man. Always start your screws by hand. So start these by hand. Get them started by hand. You ain't got to tighten them all the way down. But just make sure you got some good threads in there. Tighten that bad boy down. Right? Real easy. Fire your 10 millimeter. Snug them down. Don't knock too tight. So it will break them. Now tighten everything back up. I don't use these because you can break stuff with them. So I always take some with a ratchet. You can feel it, right? So. Same deal. Once it, once it starts to get tight, right? I just barely snug it because this is plastic. So you really want to be careful with that. Same deal. Sometimes you can tighten them on down with your hand. Or if you want to use the, the better power ratchet just to get them all the way down, you can do that, but do not tighten them up with that better power ratchet unless you are experienced. Same deal. Snug them. Same deal. Snug them. Last one. Everything in reverse. Snug it down. All right. Put your harness back in. There's a tab, lock the tab in, plug them all back up. You have just successfully done your first tuned up and saved yourself a couple hundred dollars. Right there, you good to go, but we're gonna put the cover back on. If y'all got any questions, man, link it below. If you got any questions, leave it down below. Uh, if you got any questions, where you can get these from, uh, you can get them from Amazon, O'Reilly, anywhere. So get you one of these. These came off of Amazon. I tell you what, I do y'all a favor. If you got this year Honda, I'll link the spark plugs below. I'll link the socket set below, or the spark plug socket set. I'll link this below. And that's about all you need, man. So I'll link those three items below. Go get them. Appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Pull TV gone.